More than 1,500 people gathered at New York's St. Barton Armenian Cathedral on Easter Sunday to celebrate the Feast of the Glorious Resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. It was one of the largest crowds to fill the cathedral in recent years. Resurrection is the most important event in the life of the history and redemption of humanity because by uh, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, Christ has confirmed A, that He is God, that He has conquered death, and that He is true in everything He taught. He told His apostles, they're going to uh, arrest me and kill me, and in three days I will rise, and truly He did. He also promised us where He is, we will be. Archbishop Khajak Barsamian, primate of the Eastern Diocese, celebrated the Divine Liturgy and delivered the homily. All around us today, our world seems uncertain and anxious. Every day we hear about problems in different parts of the world, and the entire world, including our country, still struggling of the economic problems. It is in such times that we need to be, we need to be the church, to be the witnesses of Christ's resurrection and to act on that witness. The release of Dove Ceremony followed the Divine Liturgy on the Cathedral Plaza. Edward Gulbenkian Jr. served as the godfather of the ceremony. Mr. Gulbenkian's father was one of those instrumental in building the diocesan center in the 1950s and 60s. Uh, the releasing of the doves has become a tradition in not only for the cathedral and for the Armenian community, but also for the city of New York. Uh, it is well attended and well observed and known throughout this city. The 12 doves that we release uh, during the ceremony of the releasing of the doves on the plaza signify the 12 apostles who took seriously the commission of our Lord to go out to preach and to teach the gospel and to baptize. And so when we release those doves in remembrance of the apostles and their evangelism to the world, it reminds us as Christians that we also have the responsibility to share our faith with others. Gathering in the Haikan Alex Kabukjan Hall, the faithful took part in a home blessing service and heard remarks by Mr. Gulbenkian, who spoke about the importance of continuing the mission of the Armenian Church in today's world. Let's return to the teachings of the Armenian Church. Let's let go and let's God. And in conclusion, I love my family. I love God, and I love the Armenian Church. Easter Sunday was preceded by Holy Week, a series of observances commemorating the dramatic events leading to the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Throughout Holy Week, the Divine Liturgy was celebrated by Archbishop Yehisha Gizirian, Father Haigazun Najarian, and Father Martyros Shevian. Palm Sunday is a very important feast. Uh, first of all, liturgically it concludes um, uh, Great Lent and it ushers in Holy Week. It is also important politically because it's a blunt uh, move on behalf of our Lord to walk back to confront His enemies and to uh, fulfill the mission that He was sent for. It's a powerful statement of uh, God's love for us. His return to Jerusalem was uh, a voluntary return to the enemy, knowing well that he's going to be arrested and crucified. And it's all these events combined that we cel celebrate on Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday is also important because a prophecy was fulfilled. In Palm Sunday, uh, we read in the Gospels how the children and the residents of Jerusalem went out all the way to the gates of Jerusalem to welcome Jesus, to welcome him not only as a good rabbi, a good teacher, but also as a king. They waved branches of 
olive tree and palm tree, which is a biblical way of welcoming the uh, king, royalty. Uh, so by doing so, the people of Jerusalem, the residents of Jerusalem, miraculously fulfilled a prophecy in the Old Testament which said, which the Messiah comes, the citizens of Jerusalem will receive him as a king, as royalty. Archbishop Barsamian presided over the washing of the feet ceremony on a great and holy Thursday. This year, on the occasion of the 40th anniversary of the consecration of St. Vartan Cathedral, we invited children who had been baptized in the cathedral during the 40th anniversary year, which was last year, and their fathers to participate in the ceremony. Uh, the symbolism there was, was just wonderful. Fathers being responsible for the spiritual upbringing of their children, bringing them to participate together in this most beautiful ceremony. The Last Supper was, uh, of course, um, introduced by a very beautiful act of love and humility when our Lord knelt and washed the feet of His Apostles. And that is a very important lesson, teaching His Apostles and His followers, and through them, of course, teaching us, that Christianity is a, is, is a fellowship of love and, and servitude and always ready to help and reach out to each other. I found tonight to be very important. Um, it's very important for my wife's family and for me and for our children to have um, faith in their life and to be able to be a part of a church and the traditions behind the Armenian church and the importance behind it. My son was baptized on the 40th anniversary of the church and uh, it was only a few months ago so it, uh, it was a good feeling being back here and, uh, and uh, and experiencing it. It was a very inspiring experience to, to think of the, the biblical implications and to, to reflect on that. It was, it was very moving and very poignant. Thursday night uh, is Chavarum, uh, which is the night of the Passion. In a way, it's the Armenian church's uh, way of um, producing the drama of the Passion of the Christ. The service is beautiful because it has seven scripture readings, and these scripture readings start with the final teachings of the Lord, the Last Supper, and then they take us to the Garden of Gethsemane, and then from Garden of Gethsemane to the Lord's arrest and interrogation. And finally, the service ends, Now, the climax of the service is when uh, everybody starts shouting, crucify him, crucify him, and the final reading says, and he was taken to be crucified. Friday morning is following the Easter Passion celebration or commemoration is the crucifixion. Friday morning we recall the crucifixion, and Friday afternoon is the burial of the Lord. Saturday night is the Easter Eve service, which is uh, celebrated with Badarak, which leads us to Sunday morning, which is the main Badarak of the resurrection. Holy Week, once again, this year was a fulfillment of, of all that it should be, and we look forward to future years when we have even greater experiences and greater gatherings and even deeper spiritual experience.